Hello, this is the Werewolf Channel, and today what I'm going to be dealing with is something called Paradelia. Now, humans have not been at the top of the pecking order of creatures in the world for a very long time. In fact, if you look back in history, you spend a lot of time running away from things that could kill you, and we haven't evolved much further than that since. Um, we're at the top of the tree now, but we still have a prey species mentality. And paradelia is really the way that humans make patterns fit with what they're thinking. So, in, in a lot of the videos that I watch and a lot of the images that I look at, which are supposed to be werewolves and aliens and Bigfoot and all those kind of things, we, we see a lot of evidence of this way that the human brain puts together an image to form a recognisable pattern or face. So, what we've got here is we've got um, a picture of a werewolf, apparently, okay? I've taken this box out of a huge picture so that we can focus down on it because already we can now pick holes in the fact that this isn't um, a werewolf at all it's a nice shape we have obviously the back of its head its ears it's nosy wozy and it's two eyes and a bit of a gray muzzle and all that kind of things but we're already starting to see that we can pick holes in this so we blow this up a little bit further okay it becomes pixelated and awful but we have a big branch that goes across in the background we have what i assume is either the edge of a bush or this could be a tree trunk running down the back of here one of the two uh, we have uh, a tree coming in over here and its leaves dropping into the center which outline the ears lovely for us to see as our wolf said and those wool th th those leaves kind of form the side of the wolf's head we have a number of branches coming down and being in the foreground we have the two shiny white eyes the things that really stick out to us but at the front we also see shiny white leaves because these are leaves that are just reflecting the sun in a way you know they are covered in a, a waxy cuticle that can be shiny and we see they're white and shiny and we see the branches that probably go out to these leaves which are holding them up so the closer we go the less of a wolf it looks like now why do you do that because if this was a wolf and we ran away we wouldn't die so if we noticed a wolf and we ran away we wouldn't die if we noticed this and thought it was a wolf and ran away we wouldn't die okay so the whole thing is it's a way for a prey species to protect itself it doesn't matter that this isn't really a wolf you ran away from it because you noticed it if it had been a wolf that you noticed and you hadn't run away you would be dead so it is a great thing that humans have developed this ability to make patterns to see and recognize faces so that if there's a threat they can run away um, or maybe attack it if they're completely nuts I don't know here we are zoomed in even tighter and it's starting to become a little bit obvious now isn't it I mean the quality of the picture and the pixelation gets worse every time we zoom in but it doesn't really look like a wolf's head now does it it looks like a shaded area um, so we can see what's happening let's have a look at another picture that is pretty similar and, and see what we can see in that so here again we have another picture of what is a suspected dogman in this case and what I've done is I've I've uh, found the image and gotten a bit closer to it and taken it out of the context of all the woodland. Okay, we can see maybe two ears, two eyes and a nose and it's already 
looking like a wolf. I mean, it could be two eyes and a mouth, couldn't it? And be a natural face for all we know. Um, our idea of what it looks like changes as we uh, think about it. If we uh, look at this where I've just gone in a little bit deeper, um, we can already see that the eyes now are sort of offline and they match in with the leaf colour up here and this is actually shadow from behind the tree, this might be a bush, there might be a branch out here. This no longer looks like a wolf head to me uh, very much at all and that's all we've done is zoomed in on it. The pattern that we're imagining in, in our head has been slowly destroyed or deteriorated. And here we are completely zoomed in and as you can see um, it looks more like a face of an alien now I suppose. But yet again we have, you know, I think these are leaves or more or less definitely. It's so difficult to tell with the pixelation over the picture. This is a bit of a shade here, leaf. Branches going out, some more shade, a bush in the background. I don't think we can say in, in any context now that's that's a wolf said, can we? So it's just when you're looking through these things, um, remember your brain loves to make patterns. That's why we do it with clouds and why we do it with all sorts of different things. It's very clever, it's a very good protection system, but sometimes it can con us. So when you look at these videos and images and things, Please just remember that this can happen. Now, I know all you people out there are very bright and intelligent and stuff, and I'm not trying to uh, patronize you in any way, but, you know, I'm just showing you what I believe. So, thanks very much from The Werewolf. Please like and subscribe if you would. That would be wonderful. Um, love you all, and goodbye.